Now we've seen how the inversor indicators behave. The inversor indicator is going to give us a specific pH. Now there are other indicators that are going to tell us whether we are dealing with an acid or a base. They are not going to give us a specific pH. Okay, they are only going to tell us if we are dealing with an acid or a base. Now let's see examples of these indicators. The first one is methyl orange. When you add methyl orange, drops of methyl orange to an acid, the color will change to red. When you add drops of methyl orange to an alkali or a base, the color will change to yellow. So over here, it is not giving us a specific pH. Unlike over here, that the colors are going to tell us the exact pH of the substance. The next one is red litmus. Remember, acids will not have any effect on a red litmus paper. But a red litmus paper will change to blue in a base. Okay. For the blue litmus paper, it will change to red. The blue litmus paper will remain the same in a base. Phenolphthalein would become colorless in an acid and then in a base will give us a pink color. So they are going to tell us if our substance is an acid or a base. But for the exact pH, they are not going to supply us with that knowledge.